Our next presenter is Robert Hermosillo, who works with Dr. Paul Van Donkelaar. The talk is titled, Internal Models in the Human Brain. Robert. Uh, thank you very much for having me today to talk with you about my research. Uh, I work in the Faculty of Health and Exercise Sciences, and we look at uh, neurophysiology of motor control. Uh, our brain, they control movement through electrical impulses to the muscles, and um, that's just the way our brains work. And you can alter the way those signals are relayed to the muscles by applying a strong electromagnetic field. Um, this technique is called transcranial magnetic stimulation, and we use it to investigate uh, plasticity in the brain. So you can use it to map out regions of the brain that are used to control specific limbs. So if you look at this figure on the left, this is a representation of the hand, or actually the finger, and it, it's the area that's just involved with making this small little motion. Uh, you can map out the area, and the area in blue is the one that's most closely associated with actually performing that movement. And uh, one thing you can do is apply repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation to this particular area to see how it affects the topography of the map. And so if you apply transcranial magnetic stimulation at a very high frequency, uh, you can change the excitability of those neurons. And so if you look over there on the upper right, that's uh, the same representation where the neurons have increased their firing. And then below, if you lose, use a low frequency transcranial magnetic stimulation, you can inhibit those neurons from firing, effectively knocking out that area of the brain. Um, if you want to help people improve their function by not knocking out areas of their brain, um, you can use the high frequency one and get those neurons to become more excited. Uh, this has great implications for people that are suffering from stroke, um, in which areas of the brain have been uh, deprived of oxygen through some sort of occlusion or stenosis of a blood vessel. And when you increase this neuronal firing, it will cause the cerebral blood vessels to dilate and increase blood delivery there. Um, so we hope that people can recover function using this particular technique. And also that, um, well, not only will those neurons repair from that damage, but also blood flow to the brain will hopefully be restored um, through the development of new blood vessels. Thank you very much.